Machines and live forever on the tapes. You know how you can live forever? On the tape. You ever tried living forever? Maybe we all are. Unless you're sad. Are you trying to live forever? What else are you trying to do? Uh, die? I'm living forever right now. I'm starting out and then uh, never ending. That's my plan anyway. If anything ever goes wrong, warn me, please. Hopefully it goes fine. I'm gonna say myself, I got a burrito today. This is my plan. This is how I plan on living forever. I'm gonna eat and uh, drink water and eat and sleep and talk on TV and, uh, you know, rinse and repeat. That's what they say. Lather, rinse and repeat. Shower. Burritos, burritos and talking, burritos and TV, and water. Good life plan, right? What's your, oh, wh where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, eating burritos, drinking water, talking on television? Oh, but uh, career-wise, oh, no, I mean, this is my career. What do you do for a living? I eat food and water and sleep to sustain myself. Well, what do you do? What do you mean? Well, it's like, yeah, I get food however I can. You know, I try to get food, and then I try to get it on TV, and I try to eat something. What do you do for a living? I, I scavenge. I'm a scavenger. I've been seeing some uh, people with the signs. They're kind of scavengers, but they have nice shoes. Dogged. Somebody's like, You got a dollar? I'll buy your dog. I'll buy your dog for a dollar. We're in Nikes. I saw a guy out there by Walt, the Walmart, Huckberry Walmart. He had Nikes and a decent outfit. He's like, Give me a dollar. Give me those Nikes. You can buy six packs of cigarettes for the price of those Nikes. Oh, they want the cigarettes too. What are you gonna do? They have ten, ten, six packs of cigarettes? Remember when I said, never keep sauce in your um, pocket? Like sometimes that's good, but sometimes you don't have sauce when you want it. Because I, I didn't put it, I keep it in my pocket. Maybe I should keep sauce in my pockets. Like sometimes you're like, why I, I sauce in my pockets? I didn't eat it. It's just broken. And then some other times, maybe instead of my pockets, I should have them in the studio. I, I do talk about the homeless a lot, but they're all around me. I saw the um a guy this morning, and he, you know they have the signs, and they say like, help, please help me, where they have joke signs. Why, why? I'm trying to get high. Money for beer, joke signs. Uh, let's see, I bet you, let's see if you can hit me with a quarter. Hey, I just saw a guy. His sign just said, Money. <laughs> you want money, dude? Like straight up, not like change. Other people I see signs, people have signs they say change on them, and I don't. Whoa! Maybe. Uh, uh, 
They want. They want. They want a change, but maybe they just they want a, you know, social change. Like Obama, right? That you know, well, that's a hope, right? So I'm going to get one of those signs, write the word hope, hope on it. Oh, you have any hope? Can you give me some hope? I'm like, no, no one can give you hope. It's that kind of sad, but it's a uh, reality. No hope for anybody. There's no hope for you. All I want is a little bit of hope. Hey, no hope for you. Obama. Not real. That's what that thing said, right? Like, I guess he didn't make it. Somebody, uh. Whoa, whoa. He didn't. He didn't make the uh, the hope sign. Somebody else made it, but uh, I guess he kind of approved it at least. He, or he didn't openly disapprove. How can you say I don't believe in hope? But I don't think that's a very, the best message. Just like straight up, hey, hope. Like I want <laughs> change or uh, like, frugality. Frugality wouldn't uh, have quite the the ring as hope. But so, hope is vague and non, uh, like, action-oriented. Like, hoping is, is wish, like, wishing or dreaming. Like, I want action, more action words. Doing. Just success. I am going to plan, my plan is... For success, I plan on leading our nation towards success and away from failures. You don't need a plan for that stuff. I don't have a plan for success and failure. I just know what's happening. I believe. You just gotta believe. Like, do you believe in success? I believe in success. One guy wants money, though. Money. I didn't talk to him, but... I don't know, maybe it's rude to ask people to dance. But maybe he should just get a box and dance. If he had a box, so you get your first dollar. You need some seed money. This is seed money, and then you put a dollar in the box in front of you, and then you lay down some cardboard and behind it. And you just do a dance, a little dance, or whatever it is, whatever you can do, juggling, dancing, bad singing. It doesn't matter how awful you are. You just got to be doing something. People start giving you that money. And so you just say, please. Might be the more, I mean, real thing. Maybe you don't have the energy to dance because you're hungry. Or you're coming down from the crack or something. But, yeah, maybe you should dance a little bit instead of saying money, please. Never seen such a blunt sign. But then again, there was that guy uh, out there at uh, Burger King on College and Yum Highway. It's it's that Burger King out there, and that guy had like four large panels of text. Like a book, or at least a pamphlet, maybe a novel, maybe it was more. But he was like trying to like display them all and kind of move them around, give you a chance to read it. And you're driving by the thing, 
I don't know if it's it told a life story. It's like I was born this way in, in this place, and I didn't have a very good upbringing. And, uh, nobody ever taught me the value of a dollar. Nobody ever, you know, when I was a child, dr- uh, dare didn't exist, and so I thought that drugs were going to be fine. And you know, I uh, was being beaten. And uh, the only escape I had was drugs, and I thought that I was going to be okay, and I thought that I could handle it. I thought I could do a little bit of time, and uh, they took over, and now I am. I need more money for more. I don't know more drugs. I don't know what it signs that the government has gotten me down, like I was in the war, and now they 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 didn't give me my due money. They told me that I was going to get a pension, and where is my pension? Uh, uh, Obama, whatever, uh, his thing, whatever his, his little, his sign said, or something, it was like paragraphs, though, several paragraphs, whoa, 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 I couldn't read, I didn't have the time, we're driving by. I was driving with my grandmother, who maybe we should talk to, and we'll call her at some point today. I'm going to check the ta- some of those tape stuff, and then we'll make some phone calls and see who's on the phones, and maybe somebody will be showing up here. Maybe we're going to go to, uh, or yellow fellow is going to be coming here soon. It's Saturday. Almost 2778. We're going to be out of the 277, 277. And then we're going to be in 2800s coming up. 20 days, though. That's still quite a while. Not for till the middle of May. But we we'll hope. A few more days left in April. I don't know if they're 30 or 31, but then it's going to be May. It's going to be May. Like the in sunk song. It's gonna be May. That's coming up. And then that's May Day. May 1st is May Day. Which is, I don't know, like anti corporate oppression day. For a lot of people. So we'll see. Keep an eye on the streets and see how much anti-corporate, anti-corporate oppression uh, demonstrations happen out there. Like, keep an ear out. Be like, hey, did you see any demonstrations of anti-corporate oppression today? Because I heard that maybe they're going to be happening in May, which is now. It's May. Or soon. May 1st. How do you feel about anti-corporate, or how do you feel about corporate oppression? I don't, it's like, I don't like it. I don't like corporate oppression. Like, who likes oppression? Nobody likes uh, oppression anyway. Hopefully. I think if you like oppression that you'd be using a better word, like, friendly. Uh, like, nobody, you know, if you're going to call it oppression, that's not something you like. Like people might like like the thing that people call oppression, but nobody. Like, I like to be oppressed. Like I like to be. I like to not have to think about what I'm doing. I like other people to think for me. Like I don't need to think. I mean, I kind of do. Maybe I do like being oppressed. I just don't like. Uh, I just don't like having to deal with with my problems. So somebody else can deal with my problems. Uh, and if you think you can and not have to do anything, you can just sit back and, you know, live a smaller life. People want more extravagant lives or something. At least, I guess, a living life, but you can just, like, sit around. They want the wealth. They're like, uh, they, they, they people get all the wealth. But then, are they really happy? What do they have? Things? Look at all my things. Now I'm wealthy. I guess they can have health care. Like better health care or something. Maybe that's something that you may want to have, or but other than the whole health care thing, like why do we need so much stuff? And maybe the people with the stuff are 
maybe we're, there was a, if you have spiritual health, but physical health is important to have, and we can't afford that, and that's like the bare minimum and stuff, but other than that, like people want a fancy home or something, those rich people with their fancy homes, they're sitting on the wealth anyway, the wealth is not real, all the people's wealth, the rich people's wealth, they're paying for your entertainment and television and movies and, and everything, and, and uh, it's all in the it's all in the system. All that wealth, they're, they're like, oh, the, all the money's going to the one percent, but all that one percent money, it's in the system. I think it's not just sitting somewhere else. I mean, are they spending it somewhere? Are the wealth the wealthy? I think they're they're buying they're they're putting their money into the corporations anyway. So. Well, well, we don't even have love. If you have all that money, then how do you know who cares about you? You think that it's uh, the, 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 the people around you, that, but they don't care about you. They just want your money and, and status. You want to be like, oh, I'm friends with a millionaire. So, maybe you millionaires, question the people around you. They're probably all lying to you. Unless you brought somebody up with you from when you were before, in the before times, but... Maybe things have changed. Like, the people around you like that. Maybe they wouldn't continue to follow you. And they, they're, they've, they've stopped, uh following you for friendship or from for old times because you used to be like family used to be like brothers so we were like brothers but now i would that i'm rich i feel like you're just hanging around because you want the money and the ladies and the the mm, drugs and the accolades and the clubs we used to be have, have each other's backs but now you think that I don't need, you don't need to have my back up. My money has my back. But what, money can't buy friendship, and I thought that's what we had. But maybe it's false now. Question, you know, question things, like, in general. When you get that money, I think it might be false, and you gotta look out. Look if you're a millionaire. Like, look around you. What's real? What's real? I guess I don't know what's real either. I have a wealth. Maybe don't question things and now that I'm, I'm questioning, questioning things. Question everything, even questioning things, because maybe you should just like relax and, and not question things. All right, no more questioning things. I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna say everything's fine everywhere. Why not? Everything's fine everywhere. Let's take a look at this tape it's from 2016. What were we doing back then? Dead blood birds. Uh, <laughs> Freddy's here. Maybe not for the fan of. Whoa, what is that sound? Oh, this is like a bird. Uh, Freddy brought a, a tape of birds dying. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Gitsu. Is that the fucking end of the program or what? Oh, it's it's the a commercial. You, you could try it. Try not swearing just for a little bit. We're looking at this falcon being killed. Oh, there's some blood. Oh, blood, blood, blood. Uh, <laughs> Freddy's here. Yeah, maybe not for the faint of heart there at the end. Falcon takes the fight. Let's start this work. Yeah. It's nature. Nature. Brutal. Uh, and uh, it's about uh, not giving up your grudges. Oh, give up, yeah, give up that's up. right. Negative reinforcement is bad. Negative yeah. people are bad. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Bye. Give up your grudges. Why are people holding on to that kind of thing? Let's take a look at last year and the messages to the future.
going to be hard to tell like, if we're on the right day, but I believe we are, you know. Record time, press record key. Hey, future, it's us of the past, or me, us. I'm representing the world as the past. Yeah, you are. We're back here. Where? It's the daytime. What's it like over there in the future? Is it nighttime? Is it five minutes from now? Is it years from now? It's nighttime. How are you? Real good. Are you alive? Yes. How's your health? Great. How's family? Is it like you say, hey, how are you? 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 Hey, 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 hi. Um, right, well, how long are these messages going to be from the past? It's, it's, uh, Friday. Friday, Friday oh, the 28th. Day. That's what I want to see. It's going to be happening later on. That's about all I have to say. So, let's see. Bye, bye future. Bye. We're, we're on the right, uh, Levels. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the phones. Oh, we got a good amount of voicemails, actually. Kirsten. Kirsten calls. It's been a while. I haven't heard from Kirsten in a long time. Oh, I gotta sign into this thing. Stupid thing. The phones are not cooperating anymore. They used to do better, but... I guess it's like one thing at a time, I guess, you know? You think that things work... ...until they don't. Really, it's time to <laughs> fix this. Come on, phones. Work. Work. I'm going to get the phones to work. It's going to happen. Whoa. Oh, it's getting dark. I had a front of the light. Sitting here in the dark, huh? Yeah. Well, actually, not today, though, because they're show over. Yeah. You're scheduled to be here tomorrow. I know I said noon. I'm going to do the program maybe at 8 p.m. Let's see if that's okay with you. 8 p.m. Uh, Will that work for you? I'll try to Hello? message you in some other uh, communication form outside the program. Knocking on the door? Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah. Is we're, the, are they knocking on the door? Yeah. On the tape? I don't know what's going your on. Your DVR with me. Hello? Thanks, Dan. Thanks for being here today. You know what, Kenny? I enjoy every single time I come over and do the show. I so totally enjoy it. Good. I look forward to it every week. It's like, yay! Monday, I get to do the program. Yeah! yeah. I get to talk about my shit. Fine. It's great. You guys can do that too. Three, two, Let's try it out. One. Yeah. You should do that. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for getting. Thanks for getting too. Thanks, Bird. Thanks, uh, David. Thanks, uh, Robin. Duncan. 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 Oh, uh, <laughs> You got David on the brain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Freddie. Thank you, Freddie. Carl. Thank you. Uh, well, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, we're on there, check it out. Yeah, we're there. Well, I'm not, actually. You're on there, too. I'm not Am I? Same thing. Well, you're sort on of. Them. Thanks, uh, uh, phone numbers. I'm virtually there. Crew calls that number. Yeah, oh, look at the crew. These are, these are important people that did important Hey, LeBaby. LeBaby.com, check it out. Thank you. Thanks, TV. TV. Yes, that's how Second it comes feeling. here. Yeah. 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 Jordy, fabulous, thank you. Oh, fabulous. That's why I say fabulous. Simpson County, Washington State, USA. You look fabulous. Thanks. You look fabulous, darling. You're watching. Thank you. You look fabulous, darling. Hell yes. yeah, dog. Yes, I can see that you look fabulous when I look into your eyes. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, oh, come on. Now the phones are going to work. We're going to listen to this voicemail. Maybe. Kirsten.
go phones it's time for a new phone system lots of problems with it how do you know? How do I even know if the wires are working? Um. Oh, oh, and we know. Thinking about the program and wanted to call and see if you were there. Well, All right. I think it's Jackson. Yeah. Hi, uh, is this the message? It Hi, is. program. Hi, Jackson. Um, we're currently watching Arts Walk or some sort of arts event downtown, and there was no march. I think they canceled it because of the rain. Really? Um, but we see some puppies. Uh, there's a lot of people. The crowd just dissolved. And we noticed that it's wet outside. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking about the program and wanted to call and see if you were there. All right. Yeah, this is Jackson, by the way. All right. Uh, bye. Well, I'm going to call Kirsten, even though it was Jackson. Jackson's phone. Here we go. Jackson. I wonder if this is the right number, even. Maybe this is, uh, I have the number saved under Kirsten, but maybe it's Jackson. Find out right now. It is the 425 area code, which is, uh, I'm not sure where Jackson is from, but I think that Kirsten might be from there. It makes sense to me that it's, um, Jackson, like, on Kirsten's phone. It's hard to tell these days, and everybody has their own individual phone numbers. It used to be families and stuff, and now it's not the same. Hello? Hello, Kirsten. Oh my god, it's Kenny. I haven't talked to you in so long. Yeah, it's been probably... Wait, wait, wait. Yes? Can we... Can I put you on speaker? Yes. Really quick? Yes. Okay, one sec. Hello, it's me, it's the program, everybody. Um, I don't think you can hear that. Oh. <laughs> you can't hear it. I can't, but uh, yeah, I, somebody what? somebody called uh, on, on your phone, I think it was, it was Jackson, but I'm calling you back anyway. So, yeah. We called you last night to talk about what was on the streets. Yeah, I guess there was a, uh, the parade got canceled or something? Yeah, can you believe that? Has that ever happened before? I'm, no, I'm surprised. Usually it's rain or shine. I thought it was going to be rain or shine. I know, but I realized that, well, the reason why was because everything, all the animals are made out of paper. Yeah, blue. yeah. And what? so they just fall apart. I thought but then that made me realize that there's never been any time that it rained since I lived in the Martin during the nighttime parade, I guess. I think it must have rained before. It was raining, like, extra hard last night. Oh, okay. It but, was raining pretty hard. You're right. But I thought, like, I thought they should do it rain or shine, and getting their stuff melted is, like, part of it. Like, it doesn't need to survive. It can melt. Like, what are you building it for? Next year? Yeah, I know. It's just for fun, and they just all fall apart. It sounds fun. Yeah, they should let it melt. Yeah, it just, it's like nature. It's, that's the whole point of the parade, right? Natural yeah. yeah. appreciation. Yeah, I want to see it melting. So, yeah, it would have been cool, but... Were people out there? Yeah. People were out there even though it was raining real hard anyway? Oh yeah, the but the best part was that like instead of a parade, like people were still out there, mm -hmm. and there was still the um, band, you know, the old people that play the um, 
the the old people the drums? that play the percussion. Yeah. Yeah, and the drums and all that. And then they just had like a like a weird like conga line type thing. Y- yeah, they just did it instead of. Yeah. Uh, instead of. Instead ha- of the thing, they just like in the middle the fish. <laughs> the fish is, fit, or fifth in Washington like intersection. Everyone just crowded around in a circle and they listened to the drums and did like a conga line and like clapped. Oh yeah. It was very. <laughs> It was actually pretty funny to watch, but um, anyway, it only lasted like 10 minutes and then everyone left. Yeah, I don't know how they could cancel it. It seems like everybody should show up by themselves, but like uh, maybe nobody sh- nobody nobody showed up. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't gonna happen. Maybe they didn't even do one this year. Did you see the today's parade? Oh. Uh, lost her. Well, bye, Kirsten. I don't know what happened to the call. Yeah, let's call for the producer, though. Hey, you've reached Fredo Park. Time coming to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. I think Freddy's out there at TCTV right now. Hey, you've reached Freddy Doberg. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. You can call us back. You have about 24 minutes. Okay, thank you. That's TCTV. Uh, all right. Let's call my grandmother next. And then we'll listen to those Mr. Ginton messages. Try to call him back. Grandma. Hello? Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Real good. How's Grandma? Good. She said hi. No, she says she doesn't want to be alone. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't want she doesn't want you to move now? Nope. You're staying there? Yep. When <laughs> she changed your mind, did you did you leave the house for a day? Nope. You didn't even leave the house yet? Nope. Well, that's good for you. That's okay. Uh, it's fine either way. I don't care. Well, you get a place to... I mean, you, you, you need to, or she needs help, and you can help her. Mm-hmm. Uh, did, you, did you fix the light? Huh? You clean the toilet? Uh-huh. That's good. What are you doing? Watching a TV show about uh, that killer Emily was talking about yesterday. Oh yeah, what is, what is that? This is the Golden State Killer. Golden State Killer. Yeah. What's the Golden? And Pat Oswalt, the comedian. Yeah. His uh, his his uh, widow. Yeah. He's he's a widow or his dead wife. Um. Was a like a crime author or something? Where you call it? She like used to in- investigate. She was a true crime author. Yeah. And so she investigated uh, this guy, and uh, they just caught him. I'm gonna go to the hospital and look for d- dying single people and ask them to marry me. What? I'm gonna go to the hospital. Uh, what? No, that's what I'm gonna do. Why? So then I can be a widower. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just be a widower, just cause. But then they survive. What if they survive then, though? 
Or he'll leave you a serial widower. Yeah. <laughs> um. So they. F- it's, what? Uh, it's, it's, you know what's weird about it? What? So, uh, apparently, his, uh, his dead wife used to say, so she wrote a whole book about it, and she used to say things like, I, 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 I'm so sure that the answers that we're looking for is just floating around somewhere in some uh, genes database on some website. Uh huh. And um, so it turns out, after just like two years after she died, they, um, what's what we call law enforcement, was using databases from genetics websites like 23andMe. Yeah. And stuff. And they, um, they... <laughs> Grandma really doesn't want to be alone. What, tomorrow? He can't. He has to hate him over yesterday. Because he came over yesterday, that's why. So he's busy tomorrow. Busy. I got a baby shower. Yeah, baby shower. He's gotta go too. So uh, the, the police were like looking at different uh, different people in the database, and they narrowed it down to this one guy using the Jeans websites. Am I crazy? The killer used to look for his genealogy. Yeah, they found him based on genealogy, but, like, they didn't even, like, this guy didn't even, like, use one of those things and they, like, dug it out of the trash or something. Apparently, his relatives used the, well, used the website, and the police used that information and they tracked it down to him. Really? Yeah, I think it's good that they caught him, but I think that it's, like, some kind of breach and... Uh, privacy, I feel like. No, not with that thing. If you're giving your DNA to those people, I've been saying this the whole time, that, that is, you don't have any privacy after that. Yeah. Like, like, don't do that. Those things are not good. Number one, you don't need to know your cultural heritage. Like, yeah. is, what's your cultural heritage? It's what you're, what you're told that your cultural heritage is. It's not what's in your blood. Yeah. Not your blood. No, like, yeah, like, a, you're adopted... If you're adopted and you're like 30, you're not going to be affected by, you are like, oh, I'm part Asian. Yeah. You look it up, you're like a, you think you're, you think you're like some boring white guy, and you look up and you're like, I'm a, I'm one eighth Asian, and then you start eating like, like, uh, or you're like, yeah. and then you're like, oh, you can't say that, that was my culture. That's my culture, yeah. yeah. That was an episode of Seinfeld. You see an episode of Seinfeld where that lady introduced herself as, uh, like Lori Chang or something. You know, um, I don't remember. It's called the Chinese woman, and Jerry's dating this this white lady, and she insists on she uh, introduces herself by her first and last name. Her last name sounds Chinese, but it's not. It's not. She's not Chinese at all. But she she, she keeps talking about like. All Confucius says, blah, 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 blah. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Let's, let's go to a Chinese restaurant. I don't remember that, but that that's, uh, it's true. Yeah, it's funny. And then, uh, George's mom, George's parents said could have a divorce. Uh-huh. And then, uh, she, talk, she talks the mom out of it all over the phone. And then, the, his mom's like, yeah, I was gonna do it, but I got talked out of it by this Chinese woman. And then she finds out she's not Chinese, and she's like, the, the voice is back! Oh, yeah, she believed in the Chinese people. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, the cultural background, not relevant. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not if you're not growing up in it, then it's not your thing. I, I knew somebody named, last name was Hoi. Hoi? Hoi, H-O, but their last name was just H-O-Y, and they were, it was a white name. Yeah, like Lee. It's, Lee could be white. Yeah. Or yeah. Asian. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't, so that's why your culture, you're taking this DNA test and suddenly you think it's your culture. You're like, oh, I'm this yeah. culture now. It's like, no, it's not. You're not that's not what culture is about. Yeah. Um, I, I, I took this DNA test to learn more about my culture. Yeah. And now I'm in jail. Yeah, now yeah, they put me in jail. My culture was criminals. 
I called you a serial yeah. killer. Yeah. I'm, I, well, I, uh, I wanted I to. Made all the right moves except for taking that damn genetics test. I wanted to take a DNA test, and apparently I'm a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. Um. So don't yeah. take the test because the the first of all, it's it's uh, even if it, even if it was legitimate, it's dumb. And second okay. of all, it's not legitimate because they yeah. they just want your they like making stuff up. And they don't, and they just want your, uh, they just want your DNA. They want your DNA to test for things. Yeah. It's not that interesting. And then people are like, uh, they're like talking to a Chinese guy or something, or like a, some other random ethnicity, and they're like, oh yeah, I can relate to that. Yeah, I'm part Chinese too. Yeah. They're, they're, they're uh, storing your DNA even if they're not using it for something now. They're going to be using it for like weird science stuff or maybe they're going to make a clone of you or something. Yeah. You know, you're like walking down the street and you see yourself. Yeah. What? That's like my biggest fear. Yeah. And then you're like, who's, I'm a clone. You're, hey, you're a clone. And he says, you're a clone. <laughs> oh, you're, what, if it, what if it already happened? Yeah. But if you're a clone, you 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 think you're real, or you're dead. You're actually dead. The real you is in a, in a getting tortured for some reason. Yeah. You're in a lab. You're in a lab. Yeah. The real you and the you that's living this life is a clone. Yeah. It's a clone, and then like, they they replace everybody with clones, and then they have like a, a you know some kind of bell, and then they they ring the bell, and then we can go to war. No, I see. We don't have longer free will. Like if the police are in trouble, and then they ding the bell, and like half the people in the in the, in in the in the uh, in you know the mall, they have convulsions, yeah. and then they start listening to the police. <laughs> I feel like that was in a movie or something. Well, I think that's gonna happen though. That's what's going on with those DNA test things. Don't do them, even though they helped. I guess this one guy. Uh, still. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really understand how how does that work? So the killer apparently from what I understand, the killer did not take the test and they didn't they didn't rummage through his garbage. They just Hey People are here. I'm talking to uh, my brother on the phone. Where's the other mic? I can't hear you. I got you. Got talking to a mic. Here. Hello. Hello. What? What were you saying, lady downstairs? Yeah, she wouldn't let me in. She was like, "I'm not allowed to let homeless people in." And I said, "I'm not." <laughs> oh yeah. You. 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 Yeah. Okay. Look, I have. Uh, a I'm gonna hang up. This is an interesting show. Yeah. This person that walked in. Who are you? Who are you? Who yeah. What? what? Who are you? <laughs> Who? Hello? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Are you hearing that? What? Who are you? Who am I? I'm fucking. I'm Kayla. <laughs> Kayla! Oh. Uh, Hi. How are you? How are you? Hello. I'm good. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> that's something that's scary. It's scary to say that to somebody and when you when you yell. Well, it's just strange to be like, who are you? I don't know. Who okay. are you? Who are you? Grandma's, grandma's mad that I was screaming now. <laughs> Why? Are you, uh, what are you screaming about? <laughs> who are you? I want to know who the person is. Who are you? I want to know who it is on the phone. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Hello. Are How good? are you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> are you okay? I can't. You're not responding to the questions I'm asking you. Oh yeah, I'm great. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Kayla. Yeah. Have you, been, have you ever been on TV before? Mm mm. Nope. Never. Never on the news, maybe? Nope. Never on the news. You ever seen the news? Mm mm. Never watched it. What is it? What do people do? Uh, no, but like, have you seen like the other end of the news? I know, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh oh, who am I calling? I know you've probably seen like the news on TV, but have you seen the other end of the news? 
like when the camera is out there and they're shooting the news? Nope, nope never. never. Never seen that? <laughs> yeah, you see, never been on TV before? <laughs> that was my brother. He was mm -hmm. on the phone. They caught the Golden State Killer. Who's that? Apparently he was a killer. Mm -hmm. They caught him using those DNA tests. You know those DNA tests? Oh, actually, I know what you're talking about. Becky was talking about that at work. About it the was like a cop. The Golden State Killer? He was like a cop, right? I guess he was a cop or something. He was a cop, and then, yeah, he was just... Yeah. I don't know anything about it. My brother just told me about it. And didn't he, like, he would just rape a bunch of people and torture them? And oh, Jesus. I didn't hear yeah. about that. My brother just said he was a killer. No. He, I didn't hear about the rape. He was into torturing people and, like, raping them at the same time. What so. a jerk. He would, like, rape them, but, like, it would be, like, really slow. It would be, like, over, like, a 24-hour period. Like, oh, what constantly. a jerk. He's a fucking freak. And he was a cop, so it makes it even worse. I. So. Maybe a lot of them. Maybe are. I think probably a lot of cops are like that. He told us. He told us uh, his uh, partner in, in when he was a cop. Mm -hmm. He told his partner he's like, I'm a serial killer, and then cops are like that's okay with me, because I'm also a police officer. He said that to his brother. He said he said that to his partner. Oh. The Golden State Killer. Yeah, he like told his partner. He like, told his partner, and the partner said. Oh, good for you! Uh. Uh, what a freak. But they caught him, mm -hmm. I guess, but he was too late. Mm -hmm. He's old. He yeah. already, he's already done. Mm -hmm. He's done killing, so what's the point? How old was he? He was really old? I guess he's old now. He's retired mm -hmm. from killing, mostly. Mm -hmm. But So it's too late. What, are they going to stop him? I guess they're gonna, just going to put him in jail and say, Bad! shouldn't do that kind of thing. He's going to be in jail now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. What's the Golden State? California. What? He's the California killer? Yeah. Why is that it's so, it's so vague? It's not that vague. Well, California is big. It's real big. But it's the Golden State. Why what, Why is he the state killer? Is he? Did he go all up and down the state? Yeah. He was in just staying in one spot? No, it was like through the whole state. He like raped a bunch of people and tortured them. How do they know that's the same guy everywhere? I don't know. I guess they like followed the same patterns that like he would rape everybody by and stuff. Mm -hmm. They usually do like the same thing, right? It's like repetitive. When was he doing that? I've never even heard of this guy. I think it's been going on for like the last like 10 years or 15. Oh, he's, he's modern, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't, never heard of him. But good thing he's gone. But he got caught from the DNA tests. That's what I. That's what he said too. Hmm. You know those DNA tests? How do they do it? Like blood or like what is it? Um, blood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they take your test and they want to tell you your ancestry. Mm -hmm. But they're mm -hmm. they're uh, it's a lie though. Mm -hmm. The whole ancestry thing because uh, this is well I already said this but I'll say it again. Mm -hmm. Your culture is not. In your blood. Mm -hmm. It's in your upbringing. So people are going to go take that DNA test and they're mm -hmm. going to be like, look, I got culture now. And you don't. You're still a, a white guy. <laughs> everybody. You still have no culture. For everybody. You're like, oh, look, I have culture now. Like you're trying to count uh, culture. You know? You're talking about when people do like the ancestry thing. They right? do the ancestry test. Yeah. And they want to find culture. Yeah. They're like, I'm so, sad. That's what my brother did. I'm sad and white. Yeah. I'm like, look, look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. See? Look yeah. at this. Look at the test. Yeah. That's fake. Nobody wants to be white. Yeah. Good. The, t the test is fake, though. It's a fake test. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were just looking for killers, and so they found one using the test. But that was how? Like on like Ancestry.com? My brother said that his family took it, and then somehow they knew from science or something. Weird. You got a, you got a tattoo? Mm -hmm. Is it covered up, though? Can't see it? Can't see it. They didn't put ceram wrap on it. Sometimes they put ceram wrap on it. Uh, they put some weird shit on it. Um, I was real shaky. Don't think I'm gonna ever get another tattoo. Probably forever. Did they mess it up? No, but she was definitely like, "You're kind of annoying because you're shaking so bad, and I'm trying to do straight lines." So, yep. Mr. Ginsu left us a couple messages. You ever seen the program before? Mr. Ginsu? Have you seen the program before? Oh, have I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know about Mr. Ginsu? Mm-hmm. Know about him. 
well, we're going to call him next. He left us a message. We only have about five minutes left today, though. Hmm. Um, come on, phones. The phones are acting up right now. What's your favorite chicken nugget sauce? Um, honey mustard. It's a pretty good one. Uh, mm -hmm. you guys I went there this morning. What? Where? I went to McDonald's. Oh, yeah? I had no food, and I went to McDonald's, and I went to work, and I ate in a front of them. And they all said, hmm, where's ours? <laughs> Here's this missing YouTube message. 435. 435. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Ginsu, 435. I'm not kidding. Can you hear this? Oh, turn up the TV. Right here in the room. Well, maybe not. Maybe I went to shit. It's on the left. Fucking hearing phone. Head down. Yeah, the ringer is on. Check that fucking out. Uh-oh. What? I thought I spilled this. Did you? I went to Far East. I got Oh. Oh. Like Marl. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah. You may not be able to hear it over the fan and stuff. Um, this is calling back. Mr. Ginsu, he said he had a heart attack. We only have like four minutes left, though. we got to record a message to the future. And call Mr. Ginsu. All the stuff at once, all at the same time. All right, I'm going to queue up the tape, though, to watch, uh, to watch, do this message to the future. You seen anything on the streets? Nope. Nothing? Mm -mm. No crazy people? Wildlife? Uh, literally, I got stuck in the parade today. That was gonna you got stuck me. in the parade? The parade was right in front of the Olympia tattoo club. And I said, cool, and... Did you watch the parade while you were getting tattooed? Yep, mm-hmm. I actually did, though. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic oh, voice message. Mr. Ginsu's not there. Three, six, zero, five, six, one, one, zero. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Mr. Ginsu, it's the program. You can call him back when you only have about three minutes today. What'd you see in the parade? I saw people dressed up as peacocks. Like probably like 20 peacocks. And hey, future. It's us, the past. Hi, how are you? What do you have to say to the future? Uh, don't get tattoos because it's a waste of money and it's just painful. Bye. Bye. I could have told you that. Well. I think I probably did, actually. Probably. <laughs> yeah. But why would you listen to people? You have to find out the hard way. Is it your first tattoo? It's kind of first, the first like professional. I have one, but it's not. Amateur? Yeah, it's amateur shit. Here is today, let's look at yesterday. Let's look at two days, what we've been doing. Friday, yay. And look at Thursday. Ooh. Future, it's us, the past. Oh, hi, past. It's Thursday. Thursday. Mr. Gintsu had a heart ago. attack. Oh, no. He didn't even go to the doctor it's about hot. it. But he did later, and they're like, you had a heart attack it's like two weeks ago. It's gonna be May. Bye. Too hot. It's gonna be May. It's too hot. That was hey, yesterday. Hey. Future. Hey, past. It's us. The uh, past. Hi, past. Hey. Friday the 27th. Friday, yay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, what? For that, Dan hung up. Yeah, Dan hung up. What about the liquor store? Okay. Oh, Freddie went to the liquor store to get uh, boxes. Uh, somebody get, almost get robbed with their car door open or something. Uh, Freddie saw a robbery yesterday. Oh. So we get to the This are. message is long. Well, bye. 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 Here's us today. This is just now, right here. Hey, future. Hi, past. It's us, the past. Oh, hi. hi how are you? What do you have to say to the future? 
Uh, don't get tattoos because it's a waste of money and it's just people. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's the end of the show. You got any final things you want to say before the show's over? Uh, enjoy life. Enjoy life. That's a good one. Bye, everybody. Here we go. It's the credits. Thanks, uh, my brother and Mr. Gensu and uh, Grandma. Uh, who else was there? Thanks for watching. It's Saturday. We're on uh, TCTV, channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check it out, YDHWM.com, yeah! 360 call and leave a message, get on TV. Mm -hmm. well, 109 State Avenue, number 3, check it out, Olympia, Washington, 9501, it's our address, come find us. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, LaBebe, Jordan E, Fabulous. Graham Graham, Stop the Pilot, Collins, John Wilson, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, that's you. You're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye.